First of all, guys, Mortal Kombat's back, and this film is absolutely amazing. Uh, amazing job on the film, guys. First question I have for you is, uh, Jessica, so Sonya is uh, special forces in this film and recruited by Jax. Uh, what's mo motivating her in this film? Well, initially, it's to come and find Jax. You know, Jax is missing, and they're partners in crime. Well, not in crime, in good, I guess. Um, right. So it's to find Jax, but then, you know, even more than that, she knows that Earth is at threat of being taken over by the baddies from Outworld. So she's like, got to go and save the world. Now, uh, Josh, question for you. Now, Kano, he's usually a legit bruiser in the Mortal Kombat universe. Now, uh, typically his fighting style isn't very pretty, uh, but what did you want to bring to his physicality in the action scenes? Yeah, I just want to make sure that, uh, you know, that we brought the fact I, I, that he was a bit of a dirty fighter, you know what I mean? That, uh, that he would just use any opportunity to get the upper hand, even if that meant, you know, uh, a punch when you weren't looking, kicking you when you're down, throwing dirt in your face, whatever. I just think he's, he's uh, a little more unpolished, uh, sure. maybe the word, than, uh, than some of the other martial artists, yeah. Now, uh, another quick question I have for you guys is, uh, obviously you guys are a uh, big Mortal Kombat fans with this franchise and, and the diversity with the cast is quite amazing. Uh, but what is it about the action scenes that take this movie to the next level? Because those action scenes, not only are they grounded, but they are beautiful to watch and brutal too. So uh, yeah. can you guys talk to me uh, about the, what went into performing and, and, and really getting some of those action scenes down? Uh, we'll go to uh, you, Josh, for that one. Yeah, sure. Well, uh, why don't I speak to the aesthetics uh, of it uh, and let like Jess handle some of the others. But yeah, I know that Simon, uh, in in you know, alongside uh, a cinematographer Jermaine McMicking, really did want to make it look beautiful, right? So I mean, the opening sequence, you know, uh, set back in in sort of ancient Japan. It's probably going to shock, you know, when audiences start, I think they're going to be like, holy shit, this thing is beautiful, right? The lenses right. they use, the coloring, the lighting and stuff. There is, there, you know, it's shot very much uh, like a much more, like a, like a film more elegant than you would might expect from an action uh, martial arts movie, right? I think that's just one of the many things that elevates it. Mm -hmm. uh, but, um, but yeah, no, I'm really proud of, of the aesthetic of the film, for sure. It's, it, it is, it's elegant and it's beautiful. Absolutely. Now, Jessica, uh, the props department went all out for your characters. Yes. Uh, just the detail in your knives is out of this world. Uh, how did the realism and detail of the world help immerse you and your performance? Well, exactly like that. Like it was so real. And um, honestly, I, you know, I've, been, I, I've said them from the beginning, it was like stepping onto the set of the video game. Um, and because there was so little CGI and so much of it, the sets, the props, the costumes, all of it was real, that it, you could just transport yourself it very easily. It, you didn't have to, it wasn't a stretch of the imagination to feel like you were that character in that place. Now, Simon did such a tremendous job of really world building the Mortal Kombat universe cinematically. Uh, for both of you, where would you like to see the franchise go next? Uh, Josh, we'll start with you. Oh, so, I, you know, there's so much to explore with this universe. I mean, not to mention in the, the, you know, countless characters we haven't yet met, a couple of um, hints as to where that might go at the end of the film. But, uh, but even the evolution of the characters you've met, you know, in this film, and there's, there's more to explore. I mean, where death is not the end. We know that much from watching this film. So that when they come back, how much stronger do they come back? You know, uh, and I think I think that's exciting to imagine as well. That um, that you think you know these characters, well, look out because I think they're going to be bigger, badder, uh, and, and more kick-ass in, in the next iteration. So that's where I'm I'm excited about the possibilities. How about you, Jessica? Yeah, for everything he said, um, I I mean I I really want to develop all of our characters as well, even further. There's so much to learn about all of us, and there's. Uh, as, long, as much as there's like, you know, all of these unbelievable fights and um, and the blood and the guts and the gore in Mortal Kombat, there's just crazy backstories. And the relationships between all of us are so interesting. And the deeper you dive, there's so much mm -hmm. to it. So yeah, I'd love to see more from all of the characters that, are, that exist as is. Same, I would love spinoffs. I want sequels. I yeah. want it all. Mortal Kombat is back. You guys are amazing. The film is phenomenal. So thank you guys for your time. I truly appreciate it, guys. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate it, man.